Yeah, I'm fixing the seat frame on a 90 Suburban. Uh, the back was getting all jacked up. It was falling backwards and it was really uncomfortable to sit in. First step is you got to take the four bolts out that hold the seat to the vehicle. Uh, these are pretty rusty so I had to spray some penetrating oil on the bottom side. Not a big deal there. Took the bolts out, brought the seat in, separate the back half from the lower half. This is the lower half here. This is the back half. Second problem I ran into, well, I took off the uh, the regulator portion from the seat and you unbolt the back from the bottom first, which would be these two right here. And then these three are up underneath that cover. So you have to pull the cover down, take those three bolts out. Next thing I had to do is take the armrests off. Armrest turned out to be quite a challenge. Uh, my problem is I didn't know that there's a bolt hiding inside here. In order to get to that bolt, you have to slide the cover off the outside and you kind of got to stretch it around the back and it might be glued on. But in order to get this off, you're going to have to take that bolt out of there. So that's going to be my next step. I'll take the bolts out of both sides, take the armrests off. Okay, I got the armrest off. There's a long bolt that goes through the middle. That mounts it up from the other side. I don't know if you can see the bolt up there. And then I took the screw out down inside here. I'll show you that Phillips head screw. What that is is a stop. So when you let your armrest down, it'll put it at the right position. So anyway, don't need to take the Phillips screw out. Just need to take the long bolt out. Okay, I got the seat cover pulled up. Kind of pull it over the top. Uh, found the broken seat frame. Actually gonna have to do some welding on this. Looks like it, I don't know if it's a factory weld that broke or if somebody had patched this up before, but I'm gonna have to clamp it back together, fire up the welder, make sure my foam is moved out of the way before I try to weld it so I don't start anything on fire. You don't want to burn holes in your seat cover, so it's a good idea to cover them up like with a wet, wet towel or something. Okay, I got my wet towel draped over the seat so I don't burn anything. Don't tell your wife what you're doing when you're carrying a wet towel out of the house. She'll want a new one. Anyway, I got my first tack weld on there to hold it back together. So I'm going to shut this off and then finish welding it up. Okay, I got it welded back together. Got all the way around. Now I'm putting it back together, putting the foam back in place rolling the cover back over the top of it and then once I get it to the bottom there's going to be a row of what they call hog rings that fasten the cover back together on the bottom I went ahead and pulled the adjuster bracket back onto the frame just kind of saved me some effort when I go back together okay I'm putting the seat back together got one armrest on getting the other one on uh, tightened up the bolt that holds the armrest on again you got to peel that cover back uh, to take it off and then you also have to have it back to put it back together when you're done you have to pull this cover back over easiest way I've found so far is kind of put it in that position where this is hanging over the edge and then you can pull this over the edge hook it and then kind of roll the rest around it well there it is I'll put back together nice and sturdy nice and solid again uh, in the back straight so when you're riding here it's nice and comfortable uh, that's all there is to it. Take it apart, weld it up, put it back together, and install it back in there.